my name is Benoit, I'm a bias engineer for Scott. Uh, this year I'd like to introduce you the new scale, scale 899. 899 because the weight of the frame will be below 900 grams for M and S size. Uh, we worked on the weight of this frame, but this is not the only thing. We try to reduce the weight, but in the same time to increase the stiffness. So first, if we come in the front part of the frame, we can compare the old scale and the new one in this area. So you have here the old frame with the tube to tube technology. You see you have some walls inside, material which you do not need. And on the right side, you have the new scale with the IMP process, so it's a full hollow inside. So here you can see that we save some weight with less material. The wall thickness between both frames is the same, so we don't take any risk with the security or with the safety. We just play with the process. So now we have saved some weight. We can also increase the stiffness by changing the head tube standard. We have a 118, 1 1.5, so oversized diameter downside. If we go further with these pictures, you have the draw point. So on the old scale, you see that we had some alloy parts which were bonded. And on the new one, this is the first time we do that, the chain stays and the seat stays are one piece. And this is full carbon and like a tubular structure. And here we can save almost 25 grams. Another thing is the position of the caliper. And there's a nice story for that. It's the comfort story that on this frame we wanted to increase the stiffness but we also wanted to increase the comfort so the comfort must not come from the seat tube because here you want to transmit the power from the seat post from the saddle to the bottom bracket so here you need really high stiffness and if you are sitting on the saddle you could have some comfort with the deformation but if you go down with a mountain bike you don't sit anymore on the saddle that means this deformation would not bring anything for the comfort. So that's why here we have to stay very stiff in this area and 80% of the deformation will come from here. And the main deformation comes from the seat stays. And that's also why if we have the seat stay deformation, we cannot fix the caliper in this area. Otherwise we will have some vibration while testing, while braking. So we move the caliper in this area. So really, you really have the comfort with the vertical deformation on the rear triangle. But if you check the frame from this side, here you see that it's a lot wider. That means you have a stiffness here. So you have the performance like that, and you have the comfort by the seam deformation like that. Okay, so if we go further on the frame, we arrive in the bottom bracket. And here is also a nice comparison between the old scale and the new one. So what you can see on the old scale is that we needed an alloy part uh, with the thread, so that was some weight. And now we go for the press fit standard, so we can have a full carbon structure and save some weight. And now if you compare the shape between the old one and the new one, you see that the new one has a shape going outside, and this is what we did to increase the stiffness. And it's exactly the same in the chain stay down tube, all the connections arriving in the bottom bracket area come wider to have a higher stiffness. And if you compare again the old part and new part, you will see that with the wall thickness, it is always the same all along on the new scale, whereas on the old one, we needed some reinforcement. And this is because for the new scale, we did a lot of calculations to optimize the stress repartition in the frame and to avoid to need to reinforce the frame. And like that, we have really a lightweight, lightweight frame, but also a stiff frame.